We're going to take a look at the Philco model EL177. It's a three-speed record player that uh, was probably made in the last couple of years. I found it today at, a, uh, at an antique mall. And the reason I went ahead and bought it is one, it was really cheap. And secondly, I needed something to play 78s on since I converted my record cutter to a slower speed record player. Didn't have anything other than my Columbia Graffinola to play 78s on. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick this up. It has a uh, two speed stereo speaker, or a two speaker stereo uh, speakers on the front. And it has. Um, an on off switch and volume control and a lovely little LED light right there uh, other than that there are no other tone controls and the unit does not have any um, uh, bass really at all it sounds like an AM radio uh, if we open up the hood on the top here you'll see you have your tone arm here which is a very cheap flimsy tone arm it's light, but it's very, very plasticky and cheap. Here's your turntable here, which is also plastic. It's got some little rubber, uh, uh, I guess, pressure pads on here to keep it keep your record from rubbing against the plastic. You do get a 45 RPM adapter, but again, it is also a little cheap, flimsy thing. Goes on there when you play a 45. Again, over here is your uh, three-speed control. You have uh, 33, 45, and 78. Now, the stylus on this unit I actually replaced with a wider needle because I needed to play 78s, which requires a wider stylus. So uh, that is not the original stylus that's on there. If we turn it around and look at the back, here's the back of the unit here. And you can see it's got an auto stop on off switch here which is kind of nice if you don't want it to switch off at the end of a record and you got a line out over here so you can connect it to another external amplifier uh, it uses uh, 8 watts of power which is really uh, nothing in the scheme of things the other thing I noticed with this turntable is that the 78 rpm speed was not running at the proper speed it was running a little bit on the slow side and I could tell audibly that it was running slow but then I took my strobe that I printed out off the internet onto uh, photo paper you can see the HP photo smart uh, premium plus logo right there so I made that and what I did is I turned it on okay and let's see here. If you look at the strobe here, this is right here is what you're looking at, and that's the 78 RPM speed. Notice how these little bars here are almost stationary. They're not moving one direction or the other. If the strobe was moving one way, then you would you would adjust it. If it was moving the other way, you would adjust it. Your, your goal would be to get these bars to be stationary. So there's 78, and then uh, 33 RPM which is, uh, let's see, where's 33? 33 is right here, and you can see that it's not moving. It's, the little bars are stationary. See how these are moving now that I've changed the speed? And if we switch it over to 45 RPM, oh wait, no, that was 45. Okay, so 33 right there, and you'll see that the bars aren't moving, all right? So there you go. There's how you can set, uh, check to whether or not your speed is, set properly and then you say well what do I do if the speed isn't proper maybe I don't have one of these strobes but I can tell that the speed is not right well there are four screws on the sides of the turntable there are two of them on each side in the same location take those screws out two over here and two over here and the base of the turntable you want to lock your tone arm before you do this. Here's your little little hook that here that, that locks the turntable tone arm. Lock that down and then uh, pull it out of the unit here. 
And let's see, I guess the best way is on this side. Flip it around here. So you can see it. And you'll lift it out and you'll see the wires coming out of the bottom there. And there are three potentiometers located just below the motor. And let's see, there's one of them, there's two of them, and there's three. So there is a speed control for each um, speed of the turntable. So all you got to do is put your screwdriver in that little slot right there and turn it one way or the other and set your speed. And it works really well. All right. So as you can see on the inside of this unit, there really isn't much to it. Um, got some little tiny speakers there on the inside there and your potentiometer to change your uh, volume control and a little tiny transformer there on the, on the left of your screen. So what we'll do is we'll fire it up so you can kind of hear a little bit of what it sounds like. And when you put it back together, the, the front end of it goes in first that and then uh, sits back down in there and I have a homemade record that I'll play for you that way I don't get in trouble for playing some copyrighted music so uh, back in the day people used to make their own records at home and this was made probably in the 50s by somebody and I think the girl that's on this record uh, thought she was really good uh, maybe you'll think she's really good but I don't you turn the uh, volume up here you know you got your got your power on for the amplifier unhook your tone arm set the needle on the record I'll well, make sure you're on 78 at least in my case here and you'll hear just what this sounds like Okay, enough of that. Um, I guess for her, when the twilight was gone, she realized she was not a good singer and hopefully took up uh, secretarial work or something. Anyway, um, uh, I would not recommend this turntable for anything other than playing 78s. And the reason I say that is because the tone arm on this thing, and if every single modern made cheap turntable looks like this one. It's got this crappy plastic turntable, pl crappy plastic tone arm, and not it's kind of unusual to see it as a three speed phonograph. But if you really care about your records, don't get a turntable like this one. Um, for 78s, they can handle a little bit more uh, tone arm pressure on them without killing them. So uh, because you know the, the vinyl or the record itself is not as uh, soft, so it can handle that. So if you want to use it for maybe older records that are scratched up and you don't want to tear up your good turntable, or you just need something to play 78s on, uh, I think this is a wonderful unit. Uh, oddly enough, it has the 78 RPM speed, but it doesn't come with a 78 RPM stylus. So that, uh, or maybe it does, I don't know. I bought this one secondhand. So maybe it does come with two of these red cartridges right here in the front, and there would be a thicker one in there for the, the 78. Uh, as far as the size of this unit goes, this thing is really tiny, really small. Uh, I'll set a, a regular 33 record on the top, and you can see it almost, well, it does. It covers up the whole thing. So probably it's a little, uh, it's about 12 inches across. So it's really not any wider than a 33 RPM record. So that makes it a really tiny turntable. And I guess the other advantage would be that it does have an audio output on the back so that you can hook it into an amplifier and, uh, and maybe, you know, play your, uh, play your 78s a little bit louder or maybe transfer some of them off onto a uh, computer MP3. So anyway, that's it. This is the Philco. And um, 
Like I said, I bought it to play 78s on, but uh, maybe you'll find other uses for it. Um, I don't know, maybe for a kid to play with, possibly. But uh, whatever you do, don't give them your good vinyl. It'll tear it up over time anyway. I mean, it's not like instantly. You know, you won't put your, your vinyl on there and it'll just, you know, sparks will start flying off the record or anything. But uh, eventually it's going to wear your records out quicker than uh, a turntable with uh, more proper weight on the tone arm for those kinds of delicate records. Thank you for watching and uh, be sure and watch all my other videos. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a good day.